Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part seven of our session on F12 configuration of Ledger Masters from the playlist Magic of Tally. Now in the last session, uh, we saw how you can handle different method of discount by creating a separate ledger called discount and uh, specifying the rate of discount that you want to provide. So we had mentioned about the percentage of discount and how Tally automatically calculates the discount based on the percentage that you have specified. And also we saw that uh, you can, uh, during the voucher entry, in case for that particular invoice, you want to provide discount at a lesser or at a higher rate than the discount that you have specified in the ledger master, you can go and modify. Now we will see another use case. Uh, first, let us try and uh, discuss or understand this use case. So now this use case is like this. Let us say uh, you are billing multiple items. And for each item, you would want to specify a different rate. So which means that you don't want to give a standard discount of say 5% or 10% what we saw in the previous session. But uh, each item you will decide, okay, item A, maybe you want to give 5% discount. Item B, maybe you want to give 10% discount for that particular item. And item C, you don't want to specify any percentage of discount for tally to calculate, but you want to give an absolute value for discount. Okay, So how do we handle uh, this kind of a situation? So tally provides you an option to handle this kind of a situation where you can create a discount ledger and uh, specify different discount rate or uh, absolute value of discount for each of the item that you are billing in the invoice. And by selecting the discount ledger that you have cre created, Tally will automatically total the discount that you have applied for each of the item and the total will capture uh, as a discount value. So this way you can handle multiple discount for multiple item in a invoice. So let us see uh, how can we handle this uh, scenario. Let us create uh, a new discount ledger called trade discount. Okay. So I'll go to create, I'll select ledger and let's say uh, we will create a new ledger called trade discount. discount. Okay. Now, before we do this, uh, F12 configuration, we will see what other additional configuration that we can do. Now, this particular ledger that you have created, you can identify this ledger as a discount ledger. So that the moment you identify this particular ledger as a discount ledger, whatever is the discount that you have applied for each of the item, it will aggregate that value and then it will capture in this particular ledger. So for that, what do we do? So you have to use your F12 configuration here. With the show more configuration, we have this additional option called select type of ledger for auto calculation. Okay, so you have to, by default, this is going to be no. So you make this as yes. Okay, and then you, you say control A. Okay, now I'm going to enter here. Okay, indirect expenses. Okay, and uh, the discount, see now by enabling that option, I now have uh, additional type of ledger uh, called discount. So earlier in one of our previous session, we understood the invoice rounding off. So we had already created an invoice rounding of ledger and then we saw how automatically tally will, uh, you know, uh, apply the rounding off method. The rounding off will happen based on the type of round rounding off that you have selected downward, upward or normal rounding off. Okay. So now let's now identify this particular ledger that we are creating as a discount ledger. Okay, I'm going to press discount ledger and you don't have to specify any discount uh, percentage for this because now by identifying this ledger as a discount ledger, you can now go and specify your discount rate or your discount amount for each of the item. So let us see how, how, how are we going to handle this? Okay, 
and also rounding off method is not going to be relevant because it is going to pick up uh, based on each item whatever is the percentage that you are giving so you can leave this as not applicable now you press control a now let's go and pass a sales invoice okay i'm going to press escape so i'll go into voucher i'm already in the sales invoice right so i'm going to select a particular party any party i'm going to select then i'm going to select my sales uh, thing one more important thing that you have to do for you to provide multiple discount uh, for each of the item so again remember your secret number two press f12 configuration and you have one option here called provide cash or trade discount okay so you have to enable this make this as yes press control a and now let's see by enabling this option what change are we seeing okay so let's say i'm going to select my first item okay so i'm saying i'm selecting this five numbers i'm selling okay enter okay end of list and now you will notice that the discount column is or the discount uh, uh, field is now getting populated here for each of the item so i enter here now here you can either specify the percentage of discount that you want to provide for this particular item or you can give an absolute value so we will three all uh, we will see all these three different scenarios okay one is that i will give one standard percentage saying 5% okay so on 1725 uh, at the rate of 5% discount tally is auto calculated 86.25 is going to be the 5% discount okay now i come to the next item i select my second item again i'm saying i'm selling five numbers of this okay enter and uh, in the discount column here let us say that uh, i just want to give a uh, lump sum 100 rupees discount so i'm going to say 100 rupees discount for this particular item now i come to my third item okay again i'm selling five numbers of this and let's say rate is 600 per piece enter now it is asking me what is the discount now for this item i would want to give 10 percent discount so you and you 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 realize that the flexibility that it offers by identifying uh, your uh, discount ledger so we created a trade discount so this is the flexibility that it offers okay so now i i, I select this let's say three items i've selected enter now what you do you take you now select your trade discount ledger now the moment you select your trade discount ledger tally is going to add up all these things so 300 plus 100 400 plus 86 25 4 400 486 rupees 25 paisa it is going to bring okay enter and so it is automatically reduced uh and the, the total of all this item has come as 486.25 as your ledger value okay now uh so if you, in the last one it said you have not applied the gst so let's apply gst so i say igst now igst is automatically calculated and now i don't want this 75 paise to be coming right so i want to now use this rounding of ledger which in our previous uh, uh, session i showed you how you can identify and create a rounding off ledger so the tally will automatically use the rounding off so i'm going to select this rounding off ledger which you had already created enter and you will see here now it is automatically rounded off and my value is become 762 uh, 7657 so it's it's a rounded value my total invoice value is automatically rounded off so I, I all i need to do is just select this new reference enter and save this okay so i'm going to say page up so i'm going to get this information now when you print uh tally is going to tell you what is the total discount that you have given so you're going to get this so let's see how how our uh, final output of the invoice is going to look like okay so i'm going to say now so i remember my shortcut key so i say Control p okay and then i go to my preview and uh, this is my preview now you will see here that all this item it is automatically taken everything and the total the trade discount less trade discount my 486.25 has come 
okay my igst my rounding off figure everything is come and this is your tax analysis we will look into this more in detail about how do i get this gst rate then how do i so how do you get this hsn how do you get this gst rate all this we will see and also the most important thing is your gst analysis okay so all this we will discuss in the gst session okay so this is how basically you you will you will now uh, you know get your discount uh, captured and uh, allows you to have the flexibility of providing uh, multiple discount for multiple items fine so this is how uh, basically you so we saw in three different sessions we saw uh, columnar discount percentage then we had a separate ledger for discount as a common ledger on your total invoice value you can apply discount and today we saw uh, how uh, flexible tally allows you to uh, decide a different percentage or different rate of discount for each items uh, and then capture the total discount amount that you are offering in the invoice okay so in the next session uh, we will see uh, the other options of uh, f12 configurations for the ledger master Thank you all very much for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you.